I met my fiance around October and we hit it off real, real good. And she told me about her past history and her past relationship. So from that point on, I knew it was something I would like to hear. She did seven, about seven years in jail, in prison actually, for a crime that she most likely did not do. She was in an abusive relationship as far as everything she told me. Uh, she said she was accused of breaking her son's leg, but what she told me is she, um, she said she know, like she popped him on the butt. All right, that was that. She said she didn't break the leg. She said she was at school when it happened. As far as her pleading, pleading guilty, it was a get out of jail, like get out of jail sooner free card because her ex-boyfriend had signed a statement on her, which she didn't know. And then she pleaded to the, to the, to the charges, not to the crime. Samantha, tell me about the day in question. I was in the middle of potty training my son. He was still like in diapers, but going to the bathroom. So I, my normal routine was to ask him if he had to use the bathroom. So when he had stood up, his leg went inwards. His leg did what? <laughs> it went inwards. And I asked him what happened. He told me that he fell on my daughter's walker. <laughs> so I had, I asked my ex to, and what had happened. He explained that he was playing and I guess he got scared and he fell out of the walker. I took my son, I walked my son to urgent care. That's where I found out that his leg was broken. But he had to go to another hospital to get the cast on his leg. When I entered into the other hospital, there was a lot of police officers and child welfare there. Um, the, doc the doctor explained, asked me what happened and asked my son, we both explained to him what happened, but the doctors did not want to believe me. They said that it was child abuse. They said because the type of break that was on their leg, it was caused from twisting or breaking. Um, they found other injuries from him. They said that he had broke, uh, healing broken ribs, lacerations on the back, a lacerated liver, and a scar on the eye. Um, that's the day that I found out that my children was gonna be removed from my house because of child abuse. You didn't believe the story about him falling out of the walker, though. I, I can't even believe your son told you that. No, my son did tell me. It's a, he even told the doctors. It's in, the, it's in the paperwork from the doctors. that That's what he told him. Still to well, this day... Well, then he must have been forced to say that still story. Still to this day, I don't know what happened to my son's leg. I wish I could talk to my son. His leg was broken, and the doctor said it would look like... I understand It was from that, twisting. But I wasn't there. I was... I understand, but... You, there's no way you believe that story. I don't believe it. Again, I can't tell you what happened. I wasn't there. I, I only can believe what my son told me. Come on. I wasn't there, Steve. Well, if it wasn't you, who was it? It had to have been him, but I can't sit there and blame him and say that he broke it. Yes, he was abusive. He was very abusive. He beat him with an extension cord. Exactly. And what, so is the big leap of faith that he twisted no, the No, I... He, he had broken ribs. Exactly. But... He had a lacerated liver. But why didn't you just call the police? I was get this scared, guy? Steve. Because I got to imagine the police come. I remember being a cop, and if I saw a little three-year-old boy with lacerations from extension cord, that guy, I would have made sure that he was being taken out of that apartment. He would have been going in handcuffs. But you didn't do anything. I did not cause these injuries to myself. So, so, so at some point, you got locked up. Yes. Well, how? Well, that's after the broken leg. What? The, the, uh, in September, when I took him to the hospital, that's when I found out that they were going to be removed from my house because of child abuse. I was doing uh, parenting classes. I was getting visitations with them. In October, I had gotten... Were you still in a relationship? No. We had, like, he he was there, but he wasn't there. We... Okay, and, and so then, what and, point did you get locked up? In October, my house had got raided for drugs. Was I had... there drugs in your house? Yes, there was drugs in my house. Did you know it? Yes, I knew about him. Why'd you have drugs in your house when you have small children in the he house? W he was selling them to make the money to take care, to, you know, support us and stuff like that. I wasn't working at the time. I was only in school. So you were okay with it? I wasn't okay with it, but, you know, it's... You're standing in front of a judge and he goes, I give you seven years. My heart broke. Like, I... Did, I, I did, is that the moment you said, I'm breaking up with this guy? We wasn't together. I was, I was broken up with him, but I was scared to leave. I wasn't well, even... Well, you're a... leaving one way or another now. You're going to prison. I know. I wasn't in love with him. Well, now you're with Raekwon. Yes. And you have a little... A two-month-old. Two-month-old boy? A little girl. A little girl. Yes. All right. Well, let's meet Raekwon. I love you. I love you, too. You don't have nothing to worry. But one thing I do need to know is you're telling the truth. I am lying. telling the truth. You have nothing to worry right? about it. And if you're lying, <laughs> right, we're definitely going to have... 
trust issues. But I'm not. Right? I got faith in you. Okay? I ain't stop crying. We got this. We you know, Ray Kron, you, you, you bring Hello. up a good point. Um, and and I'm, all, I'm a big believer in second chances, right? But there's some things like, uh, you know, I could give anybody a second chance, but I don't know if I'd be with them personally, right? You know, um, somebody kills somebody. But right up there is hurting a defenseless child, right? Because children can't protect themselves. Not at all. And this little boy, this was a serious pattern of abuse. This is just happened in one day, one isolated incident. This kid was being whipped with an electrical cord. Uh, but I don't approve of. <laughs> I wouldn't approve of beating an adult with an electrical cord. I got, I got seven girls, I wouldn't do it to them. Right. Absolutely. And listen, being young is no excuse, okay? Even if you're 18 year old mother, you were 24. 18 years old, there's something in you as a mother. Like men, we're different, totally different. Mothers, they have that, but that natural instinct to protect. Even in wildlife, right? You know, elephants, and you know, you see like, you know, an elephant grabs a little baby and protect it, right? And they're Dogs. Fighting off tigers and you know, that's why I find that hard to believe, you know what I mean? Like, that part disappoints me in you. I'm not gonna lie. Samantha, you came here and took a lie detector test. And we asked you, in 2013, did you cause any of those injuries that the doctors found? You answered no. The result is inconclusive, which means we couldn't find whether you told the truth or didn't tell the truth. You just couldn't get a, a result one way or the other. So um, did you cause any of those injuries? The answer, no, inconclusive. And then we asked you, in 2013, did you break your three-year-old son's leg? You answered no, and the result for that is you did not tell the truth. That, I don't know how that's true. I did not break my son's leg. I wasn't even home. You could ask my oldest daughter. No. I'm serious. I did not break my son's leg. I really didn't. Look, look at the first question. It was inclusive. But when we get very specific and ask you about that one injury, you fail. And I'll say this. Your story of the walker and you didn't know and he's telling you that, it kind of made me believe that you did it. Because it's not a good story. It's not a story that rings with any kind of truth. Why really would you break your son's leg? I didn't do it, Steve. I really didn't do it. I wasn't even home. I had paperwork showing that I was at school at the time that it happened. I had proof that I was at school okay, that day. But that, no, that means nothing. They can't pinpoint a broken leg down to his, a, an hour. I have letters from him saying day. that he did it. I have letters from him saying that he lied on the lie detector test. About abuse, about abuse not about breaking I did not That's break crazy. my son's leg. <laughs> That's crazy. I did, I did not do it. Does this change anything for you? Uh, a little, a little, but yeah. I'm still gonna be by his side. You still love her? I'm still gonna be by his side. I can't I, Cause See? I did not do it. I can't punish hey, her three uh, times. Come here, Samantha. I did not break my son's Okay, you know what I hate about that state right there? Even if, I know you don't mean it, but you know what, you got a little girl, it. but now you got a little girl at home. I know, that's what's getting me so hurt, my oldest daughter, but now I did talking, not do it. Listen. You're talking like that, I, you, you, you I can didn't go home, do it, Hey, you want to stay? You want to stick with that fairy tale? Go right ahead. You're not the victim here. I know my son is. I dealt with this for seven years. Why, no, that, why are you acting it? like the victim? You're acting like a victim. I did not do it. Okay, you stay with that until your grave if you want to. I stick can't admit. I, did I hit my son? Yes. Right I'm going to admit to that I hit my son, but I did not snap his leg. I did not forcibly break Maybe his leg. Maybe you want to believe that you didn't do it. Okay, but you got a little girl at home. So all I got to say is, you, you obviously got a good guy because he's sticking with you, he's going to give you a chance. All I would say is, for the rest of your life as a mother, you have a little daughter, don't screw that up. Absolutely. Find courage for her. I do. I good, will. Good luck to you.